Greetings and salutations, everyone. Before I get into this video, I would like to take a moment and thank everyone as we finally hit 100k subscribers, which is amazing! Who'd have thunk we'd reach it so fast? Nevertheless, we will have a full thank you video out very soon, but I still kind of wanted to mention it here right now as we just reached it. And I'm so excited about it. But but anyway, let, let's go back to Izanagi. So continuing with the trend I've been doing recently, I played yet another, you guessed it, Asabima Mobile MWRPG. I couldn't help myself, from the comments telling me to play the games, to me actually liking the majority of the games they've released thus far. It was bound to happen, really. So I fell down the rabbit hole, and this time I decided to play Izanagi Online, which is a very weird post-apocalyptic fantasy medieval and RPG with samurais and ninjas. Also, really high jumping. It's great. I like jumping around places. Anyway, I played it expecting what I have come to know from Asabimo games. Large instance off areas, beautiful vistas, nice character customization, and fantastic combat. And Izanagi Online didn't disappoint on most of the sections. Except for I guess the character creation, which was somewhat limiting, but good nevertheless, as there is still quite a lot of hairstyles and faces to pick between, it's just a little bit more limited than some of their other games. Like to Ram, that game has way too many hairstyles. Then again, you are not going to be playing Izanagi online for the character creation. No, no, no. You're going to be playing this game for its heavily boasted combat system. Or you're like me and you've fallen so deep down the rabbit hole you can't see the light of day anymore as you're slowly being consumed from the inside as you progress through each Asobimo game wanting to continue leveling up on all of them but finally succumbing to the realization that you can only play one of them to max level. Anyway, back to Izanaki Online. The classes in this game are as follows. Warrior, Assassin, Cleric, and Mage. For instance, the Warrior class has a frontal block, whereas the Assassin has a dodge skill, neither of the two having each other's special skill. Then while leveling up, you can apply your stat points freely, allowing you to shape and build your characters to your liking, which is a really nice feature. It's just, you know, not for me, as I always screw up my stats and I end up being either incredibly weak or a glass cannon that couldn't survive a monster blowing some air on me. Moving on to the combat found within Izunagi Online, it's full action combat, allowing you to freely attack whenever and wherever you want, and it's flashy and smooth, whilst giving you that fantasy ninja feel as you fling around and jump like a crazy person while reaching your destination. Izanagi Online's UI is also very sleek and smooth, making it easier to use all of the skills that you will eventually get in this game. The skill system as well also allows for a lot of freedom as you can pick and choose the skills you would like to acquire or what weapons you would like to use, as each class has two weapon types. For instance, the assassin can use dual katanas or one single katana, and dual pistols. Besides the combat, Izanagi also has beautiful regions to explore. I hadn't even been able to explore that far, as I was locked due to quest reasons. And the regions were already beautiful. The lakes were plentiful, the trees were beautiful. Izanagi Online truly has a beautiful world. It's also really filled with monsters. Like, so many monsters. Sometimes the monsters are easy, Sometimes they're really, really, really large and difficult to beat that just want to murder you again and again and again. Basically, you guys, just be careful while exploring around. You might end up dead, like me and Eve. We died a lot. Maybe it was due to the fact that we were attacking level 50 monsters. Or maybe it's because we just have a tendency to die against turtles. One of the two. Then of course there's population in games, which is always a very important thing. So where does Izanagi stand in that regard? Well, to put it simply, it does still have a good population, even though in some of the areas you may have seen me run around seem empty. The players are more condensed into higher level areas and the trading area, but there were still some people running around while I was questing, which was nice. Either way, I found Izanagi Online was a very fun mobile MMORPG to play, even if the camera angle was a little hard to control at times. 
All in all, I have yet to be disappointed by an Asim Bimo mobile MRPG, and I definitely suggest if you're looking to get into the mobile MRPG genre, you should check out their games. That being said, I wanted to thank everyone that have been suggesting me MRPGs to play, and I hope you have a good day, night, or afternoon, wherever it is where you are. And I'll be seeing you guys next time.